friends welcome to civil engineering exam today we are going to see the mcq related with soil mechanics in the topic of pile foundation so the first question the area of the pile group along the failure surface is equal to option a perimeter into area of cross section option b breadth into length option c perimeter into length option d perimeter divided by area of cross section so the correct answer is option c perimeter into length so next question the pile spacing of each pile is taken as dash diameter of the pile option a 4 option b 5 option c 3 option d 10 so the correct answer is option c 3 so next question the settlement of the group of friction piles can be computed on the assumption that option a clay is incompressible option b pile below the lower level is ignored option c bearing resistance is zero option d none of mention so the correct answer is option A clay is incompressible. So next question, a rough approximation the settlement of the group of friction piles can be computed on the assumption that the clay contained between the top of the pile is incompressible. Option A QUP equal to RF plus RP. Option B QUG equal to N into QUP into neta g option c q u g equal to n into q u p divided by neta g option d none of mention so the correct answer is option b q u g equal to n into q u p into neta g so next question when the under named piles has only one bulb it is called option a multi under named pile option b single under named pile option c unique under named pile option d all of mention so the correct answer is option b single under named pile so next question, the diameter of the under rimmed pile is kept equal to dash times the diameter of the pile stem. Option A 4, option B 5, option C 2.5, option D 2. So the correct answer is option C 2.5. So next question, under rimmed pile's foundation is more suitable for dash type of condition. Option A seasonal moisture change, option B dry conditioned soil, option C cohesive type of soil, option D all of mention. So the correct answer is option A seasonal moisture change. So next question, the load carrying capacity of under rimmed pile may be determined by option A safe load test, option B penetration test, option C pile load test, option D cyclic load test. So the correct answer is option A safe load test. So next question, the under rimmed piles are connected by a beam is known as option A capping beam and grade beam, option B reamed beam, option C none of mention, option D all of mention. So the correct answer is option A capping beam and grade beam. So next question, the maximum spacing of under rimmed pile should not normally exceed option A 2 meter, option B 2 and half meter, option C 1.5 meter, option D 30 centimeter. So the correct answer is option B, two and a half meters. So next question, the spacing of piles in under rimmed pile foundation depends on which of the following factor. Option A, nature of the ground and type of pile. Option B, load acting on the pile. Option C, none of mention. Option D, all of mention. So the correct answer is option A, nature of the ground and the type of pile. So next question, the equipment required for construction of under rimmed piles is option A, auger boring guide, option B, spiral auger, option C, concreting funnel, option D, all the above. So the correct answer is option D, all the above. So next question, the use of bore guide in under rimmed pile foundation is essential for option A, to drill the bore hole, option B, to provide the support of the pile, option C, to keep the bore hole vertical, option D, to set the guide assembly in position. So the correct answer is option C, to keep the bore holes vertical. So next question, the dimension of the bulb in the under rimmed pile can be checked by option A, meter scale, option B, GI pipe assembly, option C, auger, option D, under rimmer. So the correct answer is option B, GI pipe assembly. So next question, for completion of one under rim, how many bucket of earth are required for removal? Option A, 5, option B, 10, option C, 8, option D, 3. So the correct answer is option C, 8. So next question, the load carrying capacity of under rimmed pile may be determined by option A, safe load test, option B, penetration test, option C, pile load test, option D, cyclic load test. So the correct answer is option A, safe load test. So next question, negative skin friction on piles, option A, is caused due to the relative settlement of the soil, option B, 
is caused in soft clays option c decrease in the pile capacity option d all the above so the correct answer is option d all the above again we will see next video thank you